welcome to my channel thank you very much for joining me on today's video as i review chloe nomad if you're a returning subscriber thank you for joining me as always if you're new on here welcome on board you will love it here if you have not subscribed please please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know whenever i post a new video so Chloe Nomad is the focus for today. I'm doing a lot of single fragrance reviews like I used to when I first started my channel so that I can have more in-depth discussions on certain fragrances with my audience. So today, Chloe Nomad. I didn't start off with Chloe Nomad. I did start with the body spray. So I didn't start with the Eau de Parfum. I had the body spray for the longest time. I didn't really use it because I'd seen so many conflicting reviews of this perfume. But I finally took the plunge, got it, and do I regret it? Let's start with the notes. The notes here are obviously very citrusy. So this starts off heavy, 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 heavy on the citrus. They're like four or so different citrus notes in this perfume there's mirabelle there is bergamot there's lemon there's orange and in the middle you have some white florals i believe jasmine and at the base you have some oak moss there is musk there's some sandalwood patchouli and all of that so this is classified as a shipper floral fragrance and it is different so i haven't gotten my nose on anything that smells similar to nomad and i think that's what draws me to this perfume i'd heard a lot of reviews saying oh uh this is not a very nice perfume some people could die for this perfume some other people so is it that you like it or you don't some people have described it as being too green some describe it as being masculine some described it as being dirty in the patchouli too earthy so i've heard different types of things what do i feel about chloe nomad i think this is one of the most sophisticated perfumes from the house of chloe beautiful this is class this is gentle quiet sophistication and finesse this is clean lines clean girl aesthetic hair all coiffed in a very sleek bun white shirt linen trousers properly manicured nails very minimal makeup with tan beige undertones you get the picture i'm sure you do chloe nomad is stunning i think that's all i'm trying to say this one to me smells very green so of course it starts off with the citrus like i said there's something very gypsy like about this perfume to be honest i know that i've described it as a clean leaning type of perfume but there's also something very earthy to it it's got patchouli but it's not in a way that is off-putting to me it's patchouli but infused in the right amount to give you that earthiness to ground the fragrance but also retain the individuality of all the other notes so patchouli does not take over in the base you still get the citrus you still get the florals a hint of the peach all the other notes a little bit of muskiness the woody notes to round things up and then that patchouli just gently carrying this and then adding that longevity to this fragrance nomad is beautiful a lot the people who like it like it i think this is sexy without being loud this is clean without being too soapy this is feminine but playful feminine and clean feminine but quiet sexy but not in your face elegant and just beautiful for me this epitomizes core femininity this epitomizes you know a woman who without trying too hard 
exudes femininity. She could be wearing whatever it is, a dress. She could be wearing rapper if you're in Africa. She could be wearing anything at all, but she still comes off as sophisticated in her carriage, in her mien, in her mannerisms and everything. She is a sophisticated woman because she uses Chloe Nomad. Love this perfume. Some people say it leans unisex and I would agree with that. I feel like a man can pull this off, you know, because it does lean a bit unisex in my opinion. I feel like it's not necessarily, it, it can be feminine and, you know, it can also give off some notes that, you know, can be carried well by by a man. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it. I feel like this goes summer, this can work winter, any time, to be honest. It's very versatile, in my opinion. Signature scent worthy. This is something you can wear every day. For me, this will work very well in the office environment. Do I get long-lasting or longevity from this one? Yes, I do. I get about, let's see. Well, from on me, though, the longevity is not fantastic. I get maybe four hours from this and I have to respray. But it's very just, it's just light, fresh, airy, elegant, everything. Marvelous. I love it. Love, love, love it. And if you have it, please let me know. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do so polarizing. So I would really want to know if you have this and what you feel about it. Till I see you again on another video. Thank you so much for watching my review of Chloe Nomad. Have a pleasant day or night, guys. Bye.